Welcome to Daily Dose Radio, a five-minute devotional podcast studying the Psalms verse by verse. Broadcast from the ever-beautiful Sharonville, Ohio, on the sunny side of Cincinnati. Welcome back to Daily Dose Radio. This is your home for organic, artisanal Bible study. Yes, friends, it's made fresh every single day. Today we're looking at Psalm 127, verse 3. Is going to be our text today. We've been going through this psalm of, well, it's just a psalm of Solomon, but it's a psalm of great hope. And it's a psalm that teaches us a very good lesson because it's teaching us that the Lord is the one who really is in charge. This is a, I guess we could call this, it's a part of the package of the Ascent Psalms, but we could call it a psalm of sovereignty because the Lord is the one who is, he's the energy behind all things. He's the He's the mover behind all things. He's the great motion. It is his will that is being accomplished. It is his purpose that's being accomplished. Despite what men do, all are serving him and will one day bow before him. All will, in their actions, and their inactions, or whatever they do, are going to glorify God because everything tends to his glory. Even the things that we don't see glory in, uh, it, still, all of those things will serve him, and one day we'll see how they all connect and to point to the to the one God and his son, the Lord Jesus. So in verse 1 we had, if the Lord doesn't build the house, then those that build it labor in vain. If he doesn't keep the city, then those who watch are watching in vain. And then he says, it's vain for you to rise up early and stay up late and eat the bread of toil. And if you're doing that, well, then, you know, you're just trying to do it in your own strength and your own ability. You know, he gives you sleep. He gives that to his beloved. And there's a, right there, I forgot to mention this yesterday, another clue to the fact that this was written by Solomon. Beloved is that word Jedidiah. Now, we have it in a different form here, but it's the root word is the same. We can see the connection. Solomon is building the temple. Solomon is called the beloved of the Lord when he's born, but then Nathan comes along and changes his name, but his mom and dad gave him the name Jedidiah. Well, here, it's he uses that again, but not in a proper name form, but in a in a a noun form, and so it's interesting that he would use that in this particular psalm. He gives to his beloved sleep. I wonder if when he wrote that and he wrote the word beloved, if he wasn't writing this for himself. This wasn't his own devotional thought about himself. And he's thinking to himself, I can't be the one building this temple. I can't be the one guarding the city. If I'm doing it and I'm doing it without the Lord, then it's being done in vain. I can't be the one getting up early and staying up late and trying to rule this great nation unless the Lord's helping me or unless the Lord's doing it himself. So I need to rest in him. Today we look at verse 3. Behold, sons are a portion assigned by the Lord. The fruit of the womb is a reward. So again, we have the sovereignty of God described very nicely for us here. Sons are a portion assigned by the Lord. So when we have our children and we you know, have this. This is something that's coming from the Lord. He's the one that opens the womb. He's the one that closes the womb. And so he's doing it for our benefit and his glory. And so the sons are a portion assigned by the Lord. And then the second part, nice parallelism here. This is another beautiful poetic couplet that we have. We've seen it all through the Psalter. Here we have it again. It's poetic. It's parallelism. We have the mirrored sense again. The fruit of the womb is a reward. So sons are the fruit of the womb and a reward or a portion. Some of your translations will say for portion, it's an inheritance. Sons are an inheritance assigned by the Lord. And that's a good translation too. The word portion uh, can also be translated inheritance. It can mean the the lot or the assignment given to a family. Um, But here we have, it's not real property, but it's real people. The children that come are the ones assigned by the Lord for your house. That also gives us a very real sense of the responsibility that the Lord places in our hands as parents when we have children. So the fruit of the womb is a reward, but it's also a responsibility. Think about that today when you kiss your children goodnight. Join me again tomorrow. We'll look at verse 4 on Daily Dose Radio. 
Thanks for listening to Daily Dose Radio. I'm David Smith. The music today has been performed by the Bluegrass Experiment. Thanks again for listening. I'll see you next time on Daily Dose Radio.